Good morning, guys. Cam here. I want to take a chance to do a bit of a deeper dive into our dirt circuit electrical system. You've probably started to see these batteries pop up in some of our videos. And so we wanted to take a chance and tell you a little bit more about what we've got going on with dirt circuit. So in front of you here is a 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. The dirt circuit battery also comes in a 100 amp hour configuration. So 200 here, but there also is the 100 amp hour. 100 amp hour is a couple inches shorter, but other than that, the footprint is identical. Two inches thick. So on the Harker EDC, the frame is two inches thick. So we've got this perfect negative space to mount this battery right inside the wall. It's out of your way. So you don't have to worry about strapping it down or finding a compartment for it. It's just right there. It's got all the ports you might need. Um, it's got a 12 volt cigarette lighter out. It's got traditional battery terminal outs here. It's also got uh, two Anderson connectors. Runs at great high amperage, so you can charge it quickly. Charges off of uh, your vehicle's alternator, as well as solar panels, which we'll talk about shortly. So that's the dirt circuit battery for the nitty gritty on all of the specs. Head over to our web website or Dirt Circuits website and uh, look into that. But these are amazing. They can also, for you power users, you run in parallel. So you can have 200, 400 amp hours of battery, maybe even a little bit more. If you want to go 600, there's room on the walls. You could do that if you want to get crazy. If you're a power user, if you need those, uh, you know, hungry devices running inside your camper, whether it's uh, cooking appliances or CPAP machines, that kind of thing, they can do it all. So that's the battery. You probably have more questions, fire them at us in the comments. Next, let's talk about the dirt circuit control panel. First up, you've got your switch panel. So you've got lights on and off, as you would expect. You've got your 12 volt port here, to charge your 12 volt devices. And on this side, two USB chargers, keep those devices charged up at night. Down below here is your fuse box. Down at the bottom here is a wagon smart charger. This is a DC to DC charger that does some amazing things. So if you've had it run up to your vehicle's battery, it knows when the car is on and it takes charge from the vehicle. Once the vehicle's turned off, it senses that and takes charge from the solar panels. So it's a very efficient system. It also spares you from having your starter battery drained while you're parked. It knows not to pull from the vehicle's battery when the vehicle is off. Very cool, very cool design. Up here at the top is a Renogy battery monitor. This tells you what's coming in, what's going out, and how full your battery is at any given time. On the side here, three Anderson connectors to plug in your battery or other external devices and a light here at the side that shines back into the camper. Up here in the top corner is a Propex thermostat that runs uh, the Propex heater here in the back corner. Okay, so what all do we have powered by this dirt circuit system here in this particular Harker? Well, We've got uh, a wagon inverter. It's a big boy to run those big electrical appliances. Here where I'm sitting is a National Luna 50 liter dual zone fridge. That's running on the dirt circuit system. Here in the corner is a 6800 BTU Propex heater that we just love. That's running on the system here. Now, of course, also all the lighting that you see and any devices that you need to keep juiced up here through the system. So next, uh, let's go look at the solar panels. All right, so you've probably seen this type of solar panel on the market, right? Super thin, flexible, very convenient for flat mounting on a camper roof. But you may not know that there's different types of this very type of panel. And that has to do with the coating uh, that goes over the solar panel and affects its lifespan and durability. This first type here is what's called a PET panel. It has a seven layer design, very inexpensive and uh, could be a budget friendly option. However, uh, you know, for our use, we wanted something a little bit more durable and with a little longer lifespan so we wouldn't have to swap them out quite as often. So enter the EFTE type panel. This is an 11 layer and it's got a textured surface to it. So that's usually a good way to tell the difference and has a lifespan of over five years. So major difference there in terms of quality and longevity and durability. 
So this guy here is the dirt circuit. I'm gonna hold it up, Jake, just so you can see how massive it is. Dirt circuit 240 watt panel. And as you can see on the Harker behind me, we have the ability to mount two of these on a Harker rooftop, giving you a total of 480 watts of solar on your roof, which is a massive amount of solar, as you may know, to keep your, uh, your dirt circuit battery charged up while you're at camp. So there's the panels. All right, so even with 240 watts of solar on the roof, something I failed to mention earlier is we've still got room for the roof fan here that is also powered by the dirt circuit system. Uh, we also, on this camper, previously had a, a flat-mounted Starlink satellite dish, which is amazing. I love having the connectivity out there on the road. And uh, all of that was powered by our dirt circuit system. So there you have it, guys. Any questions you have about this system, feel free to ask them in the comments, and we'd love to answer those for you. Take care.